Welcome back to the party. This is another Hollow Live reaction. We are here today with another vampire cover by Tokino Sora. I'm super excited for this one. I'm just always excited for Hollow Live. You, you know what I'm saying, right? You got the feels. You and I, we're on the same wavelength right now. But we, we're here, here with, an, like I said, another vampire cover. Another great song, by the way, that has been one of the more popular covers that's been popping up. So that's awesome and super great, and I'm here for it. But let's get started with the reaction. Uh, I'm going to do with this one like I've been doing, like I just started doing with Okayu's. I'm going to do one full reaction, and then I'm going to go back with pausing and talking about it uh, more specifically. Uh, but let's get started with the reaction. Ooh, I gotta do this up, it's really quiet for me. Yeah! I'm always so impressed at how high Sora can get. Like, that's just nuts. <laughs> The token of Sora. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I like that. It's just a good song. She's a great singer. I just love this so much. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. It's. I know her color is blue. At least I'm pretty sure it's blue. But it's weird having a blue light stick when the background's just red. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Yeah! Give it to me, Sora! Let's go! Is it just me or does the music sound different compared to the other ones? I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Yeah! It's just a fun song. I just love Vampire. It's a good song. They choose great songs to listen to all the time, and I love it. <laughs> I'm into it. I don't listen to much Tokino stuff. Or Tokino? <laughs> I don't listen to a lot of Sora stuff. I don't know why. She just tends not to be the one that puts out... Well, she puts out a lot of music, but she hasn't been kind of recently. It's been a lot of the other girls that have been putting out, like, a lot of music. Yeah! 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 <laughs> bum, bum. Awesome. Awesome! That was great. Uh, so that was the first run through of the, the vampire cover. We're gonna be switching over to just listening to it and pausing it and then picking things out. I don't even know why I switched over to that. I didn't really need to. Um, first thing I want, I'll just hit play on this one and just kind of lower it. But first thing I kind of want to point out, it's it's not bad or anything, but I feel like the production value is lower. If you know what I'm saying, does that make any sense? Like the image. Let me bring up a different one for an example, real fast. Uh, let's do Polka. Actually, no. Let's do Aquas. That was the most recent. Yeah, you can already kind of tell. Like, look at Aquas right now. There's a shit ton of detail to this, to this specific image, where when it comes to Sora's, it's less detail. It's still good. It's just like a completely different art style, if you know what, if you, if you if you get what I'm saying. Like this one has I don't I, I'm not a, I'm not very well versed in art, so I can't really comment on it too much, but it's definitely like the lines in this one are hard like like thicker. Well maybe yeah. The lines of this are thicker and more like a a hand-drawn style, well, this one's more like 
computer art, if you know what I'm saying. If you kind of if you understand, there's also a lot more going on here. <laughs> this one might be a bit more accurate, or to the other to the other one specifically. There's also just this is. I think this is just a normal outfit, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a normal outfit. The other ones could have been the, the outfits that have too, but they're not necessarily ones that I recognize. <laughs> But it's good. A little too quiet. Can Sora draw? Did she draw this? Hold on, who drew this? Who's the illustrator? Did Sora make this? Here's the illustrator. Okay, so if this is the illustrator, I can definitely see her art style. Yeah. It's That's uh, that's just what it is. It's her art style specifically that... Oh, I messed up the Aquas up. That's just showing a bit more prevalent... And this one, it's good. I like it. I, I'm enjoying the the more. I don't know what the wording is. I'm trying. I, I was gonna say retro, but that's not correct at all. But the, it's like the more hand drawn version. Like this was made by someone, and I really appreciate that. Oh, did you hear that? Hold on. I really like that. I like how she said that. Okay, that's nuts. I like that. But yeah, I, I like. I think I like the more hand drawn version a bit more than the, like the. This is like hyper made on the hyper maybe not even the right word at all but this is made on a, a computer <laughs> which is still good i really like that art too it's just the, it's the difference and i want to listen to the auto tune or i don't i like that i don't know if that's necessarily auto tune but the it's like the it makes your voice sound metally i think that's neat Oh, I never noticed that the the, the the lettering like shifts. Yeah, like that. That's cool. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I will say it's also a little hard to read <laughs> some of it. I don't obviously I can't read kanji, but it's like the white on the white on her shirt. That's like a a light pink. It's a little hard to see the specific lettering for each one. When it's on the red, it's fine, but it's a little hard to tell what it is like there was a there was a con there's kanji to here that's just gone that's just gone <laughs> looks good too i really like it when it shows up behind it, it it makes the art more alive i think when even if it's a still image if the writing and the text and the kanji shows up in front and behind and it's moving uh, it makes it seem like there's depth and perspective to it that i i enjoy Instead of just, sorry, <laughs> I played and paused immediately. Um, instead of just throwing the text just on top, being like, yep, this is the image, and here's the text on top of it that we're, that we're showing you. It, it, it gives it more dynamicness. I don't know. <laughs> like, this is fast. This is fun to look at because there's stuff going on behind her. That's cool. Let's, hold on, listen to that. Yeah, that she's got some fucking range. She can get really high up there, guys. That's really impressive. And obviously there's some like auto-tuning on that, but it's not making her voice higher. It's just giving her voice a, a different sound, not changing her pitch. So I think it's just neat. I think she has some fucking impressive lungs. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her eyes. It looks like she's so tired. <laughs> I know, I know it's makeup. I know it's makeup, but the bottom part of the eye liner, I don't know makeup very well, but it, it looks like it's just when your eye, when it's like the bags. <laughs> it's so, uh, I guess that's what happens when you wear brown makeup. <laughs> I also really like, what's her bear's name? I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. I don't know super a lot about Sora, but I like how it's just like a child dress. <laughs> Like it. Wing. I feel like I, I'm pretty sure I don't know for sure, but I think she like shadow dropped this song or something like that. How many views does it have? I'll I'll know if she shadow dropped it if it's got low. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's actually. Yeah, I, I think she shadow dropped it. Like it wasn't set to premiere or anything. It just like went up yesterday. So maybe not a lot of people know about it. Because <laughs> I feel like this would have a lot more views otherwise. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's the case all the time, but I feel like most of them just get 
Like, here's a premiere, so you know what's happening. Because I can, I can tell you even this on my end. I get more views on videos if I premiere that video. Because more people tend to be like, yeah, premiere's going on. Let's watch it. So when I don't premiere videos or something like that, it tends to get less views. Or at the very least, it gets less, it gets less views. It gets the same amount of views, but less views quickly, if that makes any sense. So I feel like that may have been the case for this one. Interesting. Interesting. That's just impressive. How high she can get her voice is just impressive. Isn't this? That's good. Alright. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm super into it. Alright. Uh, we can, we'll finish it. Why not? We'll go through it the second time to fully. And I love how so much stuff is happening on screen at once, like it was like I was talking about. It's just like, yes, this is a. It, she's not moving, but there's so much moving on screen that doesn't even matter. It's a great way to work around a budget, I would say. Like, yeah, you don't have a lot to get a, a shit ton of art made, but you have enough for the text to move everywhere. So it, it gives a moving feeling, dynamics. Because I feel like some people may get bored. If there's no nothing moving, <laughs> if it's just a plain image, that's why there's always these editing and the text going everywhere. It helps a lot. That was Vampire, a cover by Tokino Sora that went up yesterday for me, uh, two, like two days ago for you guys. Go over to her video and make sure it gets a f gets views because this is really good and she really deserves she deserves it, guys. This is Sora we're talking about. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, click that notification bell so you know when the next one like it is live. Also, go into the comments down below and recommend me more Sora clips, music, and things like that. I'm always interested for more stuff. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe because it super helps with the channel. Other than that, thank you for coming to the party. <laughs>